Hello our most developed student, my name is Confident and welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is the ultimate guide in maths, science, career guidance as well as a sneak peek in my personal experiences. This is a channel that is designed with you in mind. Let us dive into today's lesson. Hello once again our most developed student, my name is Confident and welcome to our mathematics for grade 9s and this is the ultimate guide for your term one work and this is the uh, covering all the work that you need to know for your term one and also covering a lot of revisions and uh, as I said we've already looked at some of the lessons which is we've looked at the whole numbers and did some revision we went on to look at the prime numbers and we've also done some revision it means that if you're coming in contact with this lesson for the first time you are not subscribed Therefore, I will encourage you to subscribe right now and ensure that you are covered for your term one work. It's very, very important. If you want to get good marks, this is the work that you need to do. So now let's get straight into the lesson. And we are looking at ratio and rate. Very important lesson. Now let's start by looking at a few things here that we need to put in order. Speed, distance and time. We're saying distance, whenever you're measuring distance, it is measured in kilometers. When you're talking about time, it is measured in hours, and you're talking about speed, now it is kilometers per hour, which is this word per, it means kilometers divided by hour. Now, there is the formula. You will not be given the formula for uh, speed, distance, and time. I will encourage you to remember this uh, triangle, where you draw a triangle. So in simple things, you draw your triangle like that, that's how you go about it. After drawing a triangle, you divide it by this line and that line. And remember, this is multiplying its times. So you write your D there, D here, your S there, and your T there. And then this then explains these formulas here. To say what is speed, you can say S is distance. There is the division line over time, which is that distance Distance is S times T, which is speed times time. And what about time? You see, it's distance over speed. This triangle will actually help you a lot. So you say it's important conversions that you need to know. Time must always be in hours. So always work with your time in hours. And you remember to convert uh, minutes to hours. How many minutes are there in an hour? You, you, there are 60 minutes in an hour. So if you are given, for example, 12 minutes, if they say convert 12 minutes to hours, you take 12 minutes, you divide by 60, then it changes to hours. So whatever minutes you are given, divide by 60. And then what about if you're given seconds? If you're given seconds, you still need to take them to hours. But remember, from seconds, you go to minutes. For if you're going to minutes, you are dividing by what? You are dividing by 60. And then from minutes, you go to hours. To go to hour, you are dividing by, again, 60. Hence, here we are saying you divide seconds by 60 times 60. This is where 60 times 60. From seconds to minute to minute to hours. You see the 60 times 60. Then for example, if you are given here 42 seconds, how do you convert it to hours? You take 42, you divide it by 60 times 60, or some they will say by 3,600 then it will convert it to hours, okay? The other one is simple distance. Distance must always be in kilometers. Why? Because the speed at the end will be in kilometers per hour. So now, how do you convert meters, if you're given in meters, to kilometers? You simply divide by 1,000 because one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. For example, if they say you run 600 meters, how many kilometers is that? You take the 600, you divide by 1,000, 1,000, which is 0, 0,6 kilometers. I hope that is clear. Very, very important uh, conversions. You'll see them later. And then look at the question here. I'm not going to follow the answer, but we're going to work it together. It says, Mr. Mati can travel a certain distance in 3 hours, 30 minutes. I'm going to underline that. So he can travel a certain distance in 3 hours, 30 minutes at an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. At what average speed must he travel to complete his trip in three hours? Look at this. Let's work this together. 
So Mr. Mati can travel a distance of what? 3 hours 30 minutes. That's when I was telling you about this conversion. So he's moving time. Let's start by saying time here. Is what? 3 hours and then it's 30 minutes. But what must the time be? The time must be in hours only. So your focus here is 30 minutes. What do you do to 30 minutes? You convert the 30 minutes. So what do you do? Remember, we said 30 minutes is same as saying 30. You divide it by 60. From minutes to hours, you divide by 60. And then when you do that, if you take a calculator, you'll see that this into that it's 0 comma into 300 it's 5 it will give you 0 comma 5 hours so that's 30 minutes now the time then you're gonna have will be equal to 3 hours plus 0 comma 5 hours I think that therefore the time is now 3 comma 5 hours do you see that so that's the importance of conversions so you know that Mr. Mati Mr. Mati can travel distance, a certain distance in 3,5 hours at an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. So we write again here speed, we're given speed is equal to 90 kilometers per hour. Now already it's in kilometers, which is good. It's in hours, which is good. So we don't have to convert anything there. And then the question is, at what average speed must you travel to complete the trip in three hours? So now, first things we have to consider here is, okay, we need to find, um, they said what, at what, at what average speed? So we are looking for speed. So here we are looking for speed in three hours. So the question wants speed, not a problem. Since we want speed, let's start with our triangle. Remember, we did talk about our triangle. Now, when you're looking at the triangle here, it will actually give you what is missing. We said there is D there, there is S times there is T. So now, they gave us what? They gave us time. You have your time and you have your speed, which means you are looking for distance. So if I can name, say what is distance, D is equal to s times t but don't write it like that you need to write it in full because they won't understand what is d s and t so we're going to say distance is equal to speed times time so what what is our, our speed they told us our speed was 90 kilometers per hour you don't have to write kilometers per hour times time is 3.5 when you multiply this, it will give us the distance that Mr. Mati uh, traveled. So it's 90 times 3,5 equal to 315. That certain distance is 315. Remember the distance we said we measure it in kilometers. So when they say it here, Mr. Mati traveled a certain distance. We know now that distance he traveled is 315 kilometers. Then they are saying, at what average speed must he travel to complete three hours? So Mr. Mati now wants to travel the same distance of 315, but now he wants to take a lesser time. He wants to do it in three hours now. So the question is, what must be the speed? You can see that in the beginning, he took what? He took three and a half hours, which is more. He took more time. Now, for you to move from three and a half hours to and you take three hours, it means your time is reduced. When you're reducing your time, it means you must now travel at a higher speed. So we have to come here and say, what is the speed? Which means we're looking for what now? We are looking for S. And then we're going to say speed is equal to distance. As you can see, D over T, which is distance over, this is over here, time. I think that. And then speed is equal to what's the distance we know the distance never changed he's still traveling the same distance which is what 315 over the time now they say it is going to take less time which is three hours we leave it like that which is 315 over three so we now find the speed because they are saying at what speed is it going to travel and then 
we use the number calculator here to say 315 over 3 which is equal to 105 so 105 what kilometers per hour so he must now travel at a speed of 105 kilometers per hour remember the previous speed it was 90 kilometers do you see that from 90 he must travel at a higher speed of that if he is to travel at three hours at uh, and the distance is 350 so that's how you you work around this so as i was introducing this topic i wanted to show you how do you go about in laying this foundation so that's how they got that answer so now in the next session i have to end up the section in the next session we are going to be looking at these activities activity 3 you see 3.1 you work on these questions we're going to work on 3.2 3.3 3.4 3.5 3. i think there is a 3.5 twice there 3.6 3.6 there you see there is more questions uh actually no we end up here on 3.6 so I will encourage you guys, it is important for you to get hold of the next lesson because that is where I actually do uh, different approaches to these questions that they ask you in the exam. We've come to the end of our lesson. Thank you.